All right, let's get started. He's a chief warrant officer and experimental test pilot in the United States Army from Charlottesville, Virginia, Ben Bailey. She's a geologist who worked on the Curiosity Mars Rover and Artemis III science team. Originally from Sammamish, Washington, Lauren Edgar. He's a test pilot and a major in the United States Air Force. From Leesburg, Virginia, Adam Furman. He's a test pilot and weapons officer in the United States Air Force. From Savannah, Illinois, Major Cameron Jones. He's a launch director and engineering executive from Columbus, Indiana. Yuri Kubo. She's a former United Airlines test pilot, NOAA Hurricane Hunter, and Naval Aviator. From Little Elm, Texas, Rebecca Lawler. She flew to space as a SpaceX engineer on the Polaris Dawn mission and is a native to Houston, Texas. Please welcome Anna Menon. She's an anesthesiologist from Coupeg Falls, New York, Imelda Muller. She's a Lieutenant Commander in the United States Navy and a test pilot in the F-18 Super Hornet. From Goshen, Kentucky, Aaron Overcash. She's a former flight test engineering director at Gulfstream Aerospace and United States Marine Corps test pilot. From San Diego, California, Catherine Spees. These 10 men and women are your 24th astronaut candidate class. We can't wait to see what you achieve. Congratulations, and please join me in giving them another round of applause.
Wow. At NASA, we are more than just a team. We are a family. To share some words of wisdom with you, we have three astronauts here with us today who sat in this very stage some years ago and received their astronaut pins. Please welcome NASA astronauts Chris Birch, Nicole Ayers, and Chris Williams. Lauren, Yuri, Becky, Adam, Cameron, Aaron, Kate, Ben, Mel, and Anna. Congratulations and welcome to the team. My name is Chris Birch and I am a member of the 2021 NASA astronaut class. I'm here with two of my fly classmates, so this is officially a swarm. <laughs> Your astronaut class is a very special group. That's why there's a tradition among astronauts that the newest astronaut class is named by the class before it. Our class was named by the turtles who lovingly gave us the name the flies because among more humorous reasons, they hoped we would fly early. And indeed we have. Nicole just returned from her five month mission aboard the International Space Station and Chris is preparing to launch for his eight month mission this November. The bonds form with your class. The bonds formed with your class are very special. Astronaut training is an apprenticeship. We learn from our trainers and our instructors, and we are constantly learning from each other. Your training builds a foundation of trust that will carry you throughout your career and on to your future missions. On behalf of all the flies, we look forward to getting to know your class so we can give you a name befitting your personalities and appropriate for the exciting and dynamic time that we are in in human spaceflight. As Chris mentioned, your next few years are gonna be all about learning and training. In many ways, it's like drinking from a fire hose. You'll be asked to learn, not just learn, but to master new skills and disciplines. Some of these might be familiar to some members of your class, like flying an aircraft or characterizing crystals in a rock, but others are gonna to be totally new to you. I know for me in my class, it was a, an incredible experience. Uh, the first time we were underwater in a spacesuit under 40 feet of water in our neutral buoyancy lab, practicing a, a spacewalk to repair a space station. That was totally new and just an awesome experience. Thankfully, you're gonna have some of the most talented and passionate instructors and an incredibly dedicated team here at NASA who are gonna help you through this. We could not do what we do without the amazing support that we have here at the Johnson Space Center and from the entire NASA community. But some of the most special moments will come as you find how much you get to learn from each other, from your classmates, your peers. It's really a rare opportunity to be surrounded by a group of individuals that all come from different backgrounds, different fields, and with different experiences, but who are at the highest levels of their professions. When I have a question about the nuances of flying a T-38 in formation, I can turn to my fighter pilot classmate with thousands of flight hours and ask her a question. When I'm wondering about the design of a biology experiment on the ISS that we're learning about, I can turn to my bioengineering classmate and ask, why is this experiment designed the way it is so I can understand how it works? The knowledge and experiences that you all bring and share with each other will not only make you a stronger class, but make us a stronger astronaut corps. It also makes it an absolute pleasure to come to work every single day. Learning is not unique to your initial training. It's gonna continue after you graduate and go into supporting other crew members who are flying in space, helping to develop the systems that are gonna take us to the moon and beyond, and training to be a crew member on a future mission. I can personally vouch for this. Training for my upcoming mission has been a constant learning process, but it builds on the foundational skills that I learned in the initial training that you all are about to embark upon. And we've seen how it sets you up to excel. My classmate, Nicole, just returned from a fantastically successful five-month mission to the International Space Station. Thanks, Edom. Well said. You know, we all look back fondly on our time in those seats, being welcomed into this NASA family. The next two years will be a whirlwind, but they'll be some of the best moments with the best people. As NASA furthers human spaceflight, we can't wait to see you all get assigned to a crew and get welcomed into a smaller family that is that crew. Whether on a space station crew 
or a crew that's headed to the moon and eventually onto Mars. We build bonds that span generations and borders. We're so excited to see you all eating a family dinner with your crew somewhere on potentially an exploration vehicle or even a habitat somewhere. I know I personally loved our family dinners on the International Space Station. But before we go, we have some very special guests who couldn't be here today, my space brothers and sister, and the family I got to share some amazing moments with. They're currently living and working aboard the International Space Station, 260 miles above the Earth. And they're also cheering you on. <clears throat> and they prepared a special message for you guys. So please uh, join me in welcoming NASA astronauts Johnny Kim, Zena Cardman, Mike Fink, and Jack's astronaut Kim Ayui. Hello from the International Space Station, orbiting 250 miles above beautiful planet Earth. I'm NASA astronaut Mike Fink, a proud member of the class of 1996 Sardines. And we wanted to offer a huge congratulations to the 2025 NASA astronaut candidates. That's you. We wish we could be there in person to welcome you, but we're so grateful to be up here. We're nearing 25 years of continuous human occupancy aboard the space station, and the work we do will prepare us for missions beyond low Earth orbit. You're joining NASA at an exciting time. We're in a new era of space exploration, going to the moon and on to Mars. We can't wait to see where your journey takes you. We're a close-knit group in the Ashton office, and we're thrilled to welcome you into the fold. You can always count on us for support, but you should also lean on each other as a class two. The people sitting beside you right now will become more than colleagues. They'll become lifelong friends. We can't wait to meet you when my crewmates and I are back on the ground. Until then, learn everything you can, get to know each other, and most importantly, enjoy the ride. We'll keep the space station in great shape for when you get here.